Hey everybody, it's Tech Hunks. Just want to shoot a video today to show support to a fellow YouTuber out there. He goes by the name of Spiderfan. He just reached over 500 subs. <laughs> That's awesome, brother. Congratulations. Rock on, man. Your channel is growing. That's fantastic, man. It... Sorry, my kids are in the background, so I'm going to try to not stumble over my words and get through this video without too many interruptions. <laughs> um, but what it is, is... Uh, He's got, a, he's got a contest going on right now for over 500 subs. I mean, that's just fantastic, bro. Congratulations. And I really do like your channel. And I, I know a lot of people do because, I mean, your subscribers count shows that. And I just want to say you have a great collection, man. And I just love how you collect. And, you know, you can see I'm a Spider-Man fan, too, just like you are. Uh, I wanted to show this in honor for you, bro. Uh, it was something that I did right here. I drew this Spider-Man, and I got Randy Amberlin, my uncle Randy, to draw this Carnage for me. I didn't know he was drawing Carnage. I only found out when he uh, actually <laughs> gave me the print back, and I was like, wow, blew me away. Um, I've also had him sign some pops, you know, put his uh, name on there. The only one I won't have him sign is going to, of course, be that Chase Green Goblin. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to kind of put some Spider-Man in the background, cover up my Iron Man, Captain America. I got a Spider-Man. Right up there. Uh, right there. <laughs> All right, back to here. Um, hopefully I didn't just, I uh, probably just messed up my angle. Oh, well. I'll deal with it. Okay. So, back to his contest. All he's asking is that you're 18 and that you're sub to his channel. And U.S. and Canada, welcome. <laughs> welcome to shoot a video and enter his contest. And I just want to say right now, too, I'm, I'm doing this all for support. I know you have great you know, prizes, and I mean, honestly, if I won, I wouldn't turn them away, but I'm not worried about winning here, I'm, I just want to show you support, man, that's what this is all about, but I just, you know, for, and also to say, wow, dude, 500 subs, <laughs> uh, just try to stay on track, it's just kind of hard when the door keeps opening and closing, my kid's going back and forth, I know she's not, she's at Nicole's, um, sorry, so, back to the contest, so, yeah, you must be 18, U.S. and Canada is welcome, and you must be sub to his channel. He has three questions that he's asking you to answer for him. So he gets to know you a little bit better, and he also gets to see a little bit of your collection, which I think is awesome. Uh, and he wants to know like, like what your goals are to the remainder of 2018. So the first question he wants to know is, show your favorite Spider-Man books. Now, I have a lot of Spider-Man books. I didn't realize how much... I, how much I have of his, you know, books until uh, recently when I started going through some short boxes and started trying to organize them. Now I have like I think it's like four short boxes just full of Spider-Man books, I'm trying to keep all the web together, all the <laughs> spectacular uh, Spider-Man, Peter Parker spectacular Spider-Man, uh, you know, Amazing Spider-Man. I'm trying to keep those all separate uh, so they're not just all in there. So I know what I have. But to the books. Um, this has always been one of my favorite covers uh, since I got it in my PC, since I found it in the wild. Um, and when I really got back into collecting comic books, I, I really started noticing a lot of these artists I didn't know before, like Charles Vess. Love Charles Vess. And, you know, that's why I bought this issue. I love this cover. And it's uh, Web of Spider-Man, Volume 1, Number 1, Charles Vess cover. Love Charles Vess. I'll just put that right there. Should be cool right there. Sorry, you see my beard. Uh, this book here, I won in ADI Samurai's contest. And then I did not know this was coming, and I was just like, wow, top loader right away. And this is Amazing Spider Man number 25, the variant edition with Black Cat on the front cover. Just beautiful. Oh, man. Beautiful cover. Beautiful. Uh, this one I actually bought at my LCS. Um, I, had to, I had to have this book because. Um, my, it had, I had to have it for the simple fact that it had to go up my Secret Wars number eight, you know, and there's that whole argument about the first symbiotic suit, you know, cover. Um, but either way, I like this cover. I had to get it. This kid's face does, the, the, kids, the kids' faces on the sides look kind of weird, but I don't care. <laughs> this amazing Spider-Man uh, 252. So look at that. What the heck, man? But I, I like it, though. I'm not, I'm not trying to knock the art. I, that's one of my favorite covers. Here's another one I picked up. For, it took me a while to... Uh, <coughs> sorry. Take a swig. Wouldn't be a tap video without a beer, right? 
Um, Amazing Spider-Man uh, number 64. I love this cover. Uh, when I saw it, I kept going back and forth about buying it because I wasn't sure of the condition. Uh, until I was able to pull it out of the bag, I realized, okay, the staples were intact, that it, the cover was complete. You know, and it's just a fantastic cover. Vulture and Spider-Man on there. You know, the background with the city. It's just awesome. You know, and the, and the, the price, that was the other thing, too. I was kind of like, do I want to spend that much on the book? I spent, like, 24 bucks on it. And I said, you know what, man? The condition's good. You get a book in that type of condition for that price. You know, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, this one here I got, actually, from uh, my Secret Santa. My Secret Santa last year was uh, Big East Comics, man. And uh, I was blown away by this, and I still am. Because this is one of my favorite covers. I do have a raw copy of this in my collection. And I remember buying this off the rack when I did because Daredevil's on the front cover and it was to go along with the gang war uh, storyline in Amazing Spider-Man. This is uh, 287. But he sent me this. Slab copy. 9.8. That's just <laughs> unbelievable. I, I Seriously, out of, out of all my Spider-Man books, I believe when I quit collecting, when I did quit collecting comic books uh, back in the about mid 80s, going almost in the 90s, um, I remember this was this was uh, this one and the other one with Punisher on the front cover were the only two Amazing Spider-Man books I had, and then I had three other books which were the Web of Spider-Man. Now that's all I had for Spider-Man books. I only had two Amazing Spider-Man books and I had uh, three Web of Spider-Man books. When I, when I quit collecting comics, when I got back into collecting comics, it was a no-brainer. Um, I'll go into that because that's another question uh, <laughs> he, wants to, he wants us to answer. Uh, and then this one is Amazing Spider-Man uh, 361. Came back in 9.6. I got Randy and Danny. Danny was the editor. Randy was the inker. And Mark Bagley was the artist. And that's what I'll go into, too, about, about Mark Bagley. Um, I couldn't pass this up. Got it for a really good deal. And uh, yeah, that's, one of my, that's been one of my favorite covers. Found that in the wild, too, which is just amazing. Um, <clears throat> this is definitely got to be one of my favorite covers. Uh, it's the Giant Size 30th Anniversary Amazing Spider-Man number one. Um, and it's Amazing Spider-Man issue 375. Got Danny and Randy to sign this one also. Um, <coughs> and Bags, Bagley is also <laughs> the artist on the front, which I'd love to get him to sign this someday. And that one crack them out, get them to sign it, re-slab them. Uh, because I, ha I had six copies of this, and I, uh, actually, I had, I, had, hmm, I had eight at one time. I'm still down to six. I had eight, because uh, I, gave, I gave two of them away to, to people in the in YouTube community that really talked about this book, too, and how much they loved it. Uh, I have about three more. I have another copy just like this, signed with Danny and Randy, and then I have uh, two more that are just signed with Randy, and I have one that's just raw. Uh, that eventually I'll get signed by uh, Randy. <laughs> when I'm all signed. But that, that's one of my favorite covers. All time right there. And then of course my Secret Wars number 8. Uh, this one is my Stanley slabbed copy at 9.6. This is what Stanley's signature was getting a little bit blotchy. But you know it's still. It's Stanley man. Love the man. Yeah, And I, I have a copy. I have a raw copy of this that's uh, signed by Mike Zek. And uh, I also have the cover swipe of, uh, of this with G.I. Joe and Snake Eyes on the front cover. These are some of my favorite Spider-Man covers. I mean, I have a lot. Um, and I noticed that a lot of them that I do like are mostly done by uh, Bagley. Uh, I do, do love, though, don't get me wrong, I do love the McFarlane Spider-Man. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's a whole other story. So I'll get into that in a few minutes. But those are my favorite covers uh, as of you know, far. And also, that was able to get to real easy. I did have to dig into a box for that one, though. <laughs> well, I want to get another copy of that one, too. Um, then, what what got me back into collecting? Okay, so, I was trying to say earlier, I was collecting hard in the 80s, and I want to say I quit close to the 90s, uh, just because I got into music, and I got into uh, playing music, you know, and that just kind of, you know, buying... Parts for my drums was really expensive, so drums was kind of the question. I was getting tattoos then, and I was also, gosh, I was going to concerts like left and right. Uh, what got me back into collecting those when I moved up here to Oregon from California, and uh, my wife, you know, she knew I had comic books and stuff, and uh, I pulled them out every once I'll look at them. 
And my wife found out that there was going to be like this little Comic Con going on up in Portland. So I went to it and I just walked in there, you know, fresh, you know, like fresh right off the boat pretty much. You know, I didn't know what to expect, what was going on. And I walked in and actually the environment was really cool, you know. And I was walking around and I came across Randy Emberlin's table and I saw, you know, a huge picture of Spider Man and, and just. Venom and Carnage and, gosh, just a slew of, of Marvel characters. And I was thinking, oh, that's pretty cool. So I walked up to his table and started talking to him. And as I was talking to him, he was talking to me. I was looking down at his portfolios that he had on his table. And I saw he drew, like, Silver Surfer. He had uh, drawings of Batman and things like that. And I was like, oh, wow, you know. So uh, my dad bought a print for my brother, bought a print for myself, a print for my son. Came back home, let my brother know. And I was like, oh, that's cool, man. And so then uh, I found out later on that... There was going to be another Comic-Con, a bigger one up in Portland, and it was going to have Stan Lee there. So I called my brother, and, you know, he was just like, what, Stan Lee? You know, so that was the first Comic-Con that me and my brother ever went to. I believe that was the first Comic-Con that my brother A.G. ever went to, you know. So we both got to meet Stan Lee for the first time. Um, so that's what kind of got me back into collecting, because before I went to the Comic-Con in Portland, I started trying to go to comic book stores to find books. And I didn't realize, you know, at that time, how many books I actually had of Spider-Man. Because I just kind of thumbed through them and realized I only had five. And I said, oh, man, I can't have that many in my collection. So when I started collecting the Spider-Man books, I started realizing that the ones I was gravitating to more were the, the Mark Bagley covers, you know. And I was like, wow. And they were, they were at my price range. So I was just grabbing them, you know. And I was like, wow, cool. And I started realizing, gosh, the web of Spider-Man, you know, I want to try to complete that run. And that's another story I'll get into because that's the third question of that. Um, he wants to ask us. So, you know, I was trying to buy books. So when I go to this con, I had some books to uh, get signed by other artists, you know, because my brother was getting me all hyped up, you know. I was like, yeah, okay, cool. But I, I did take some books to get si Stanley to sign that day. Uh, and then I got a couple other books signed. Now, I want to say I had Randy uh, sign a few books for me there because I knew he was going to that Comic-Con. Um, so what really got me back into collecting, honestly, was just meeting Randy for the first time, hearing the stories of, like, over the years, how he was drawing from, or inking and, and drawing from Marvel and things like that, and, uh, you know, just, I felt that inner kid in me come out and say, you know what, comic books were fun to collect, you know, why not get back into it, so, you know, and then going to my first comic, my brother, that was just, that did it for me. So ever since then, I've been collecting, and I want to say that was back in, uh, it was in 2000, yeah, well, I think it was like maybe 2001, 2005, I don't know, it's, when you get my age, you start to forget things, you got four kids, <laughs> I'm making excuses now, <laughs> but yeah, I, now, now I haven't stopped, I've been going strong and just getting the books that I really want, and uh, trying to complete certain runs that I had over the years that, you know, now I'm finding that I can find these books, I can get them. So that, for the third question you're asking is, what are, what are your collection goals for the remainder of 2018? And the, my goals are is to finish my Web of Spider-Man run, because it's been in the making for a long time. I'm only down to six issues left to finish Volume 1 of Web of Spider-Man, and I just can't wait to do it. Um, freaking, you know, I mean, I, I can wait, but I'm also just, the adrenaline's kicking in. Uh, <laughs> my X-Men Classic, uh, Volume 1. God, I'm only now I'm only uh, 20 issues away from completing that whole run, and the web of Spider-Man goes up to 129, and X-Men Classic goes to 110. But in the web of Spider-Man, though, uh, the first volume because they had like three volumes, uh, the first volume there's four different covers for the end, uh, for, for 129. There's 129, one, 129, two, point .2, I'm sorry. Then there's 129 point cover A, 129 point cover B. So I, I don't have either cover A or cover B, uh, but I, do, I know I do. I have one of them now. <laughs> God, this is bad. Uh, but th that, that's my goal is to complete the, those two volumes there uh, and to also get my second copy of Hulk 181. I really want to get that. Um, and I'm getting it knocked down slowly but surely, but I will have it. So hopefully I'm going to have all three of those things done by the end of 2018. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm going to push for. Um, <clears throat> but when I find covers like this, it's hard for me to pass them up, too. I mean, it really is. Uh, I've, I've really slowed down my pop collection, though. I'm, I'm being honest about that. I'm telling the truth. Um, so, 
So that's that's the three questions that he's asked. Um, hopefully, I've answered them well without rambling too long. Um, but we would like what he would like you to do, though. Also, like I believe I said in the beginning, is link your video to his contest video, so that way he can find your video a lot easier. Or leave him a comment to at least let him know you put out a video. Um, and he says for extra points, you can uh, leave a post or leave a link uh, to this video on his video on Instagram. Now, I wrote it down wrong, um, so please, uh, when I link his channel to my description, find that video, and it says it all in there in the rules. Um, so that way, you know, if, if you have time, you can shoot a video to show him support, please do, because uh, that's what this community is about, is showing support. You know, and letting people know that you enjoy what they do, and I really enjoy what what uh, Spider Fan does. I think his collection is just phenomenal. You know, and uh, thank you so much for putting this contest on, for us to be able to show off some of our books, show off maybe some art, uh, and talk a little bit about our collecting and what got us back into collecting and what our goals are. Because now, if I ever say, "Oh, I didn't have that as a goal," well, it's recorded now. It's going to be out there for YouTube. Next, you know, you guys can shake your finger and say, "No, that's not what you said, Tat." <laughs> <laughs> Blue Moon to you. Um, thanks again. I just hope everybody uh, can shoot you a video and show you support for reaching over 500 subs. That's just phenomenal, man. Congratulations and uh, rock on, brother.